Hello and good morning and welcome to Virtual Coffee. I am your host, Cheryl Leong from the Growth Hub Chief Freedom Officer. So um, I'd love to say hi to everyone here, especially um, reach out to everyone that is in lockdown. How are you doing? And hope you are feeling well. And um, um, our topic today and our guest today are absolutely is probably one of the most stylish women out there, definitely on, on LinkedIn and Facebook. Um, uh, Lucy um, rocked in, in backstage and she came in with this gorgeous power power blue power suit and I'm like oh, I really need to up my style but this is something when we talked about just recent um, just before we came on the live about why you know while we're in lockdown and even if we're not out of lockdown spring is here it's such an opportune time to be able to you know transform how we're presenting ourselves um how you know looking at our wardrobe and all of that and i'd love to invite lucy owens down to the stage to join me on virtual coffee to talk about why it's so important to really establish your style and confidence um as an empowering business person especially women out there empowering women in so welcome lucy how are you doing hi cheryl i'm wonderful nice to see you and and to be here today Great, great to have you here. So, Lucy, tell us a little bit about your your background and how you got into this sort of space of personal styling. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, you know, I think I always had a real um, passion and um, I just enjoyed fashion, you know. I really enjoyed playing around with it, um, you know, building outfits um, ever since ever since I was quite young. And, and I did always want to work in the fashion space. Mm. Um, and so I, I went into, at the beginning of my career, actually into some marketing and some, some PR roles for, for luxury fashion brands, um, which was, you know, a wonderful, um, I think, experience for me, not just to be in, you know, in, in the space of fashion, which I loved, but it really taught me a lot working for those brands, just about personal, um, I think just about branding in general and how important you know that branding is particularly now that we are all kind of our own personal brand so getting that experience in in marketing and pr was was really really huge for me but you know my career went and then took a slightly different direction and I went into some more corporate roles um which look just didn't light me up <laughs> the 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 corporate work just um you know really didn't feel I, I I just didn't feel like I was really aligned with that and um I took a, a quite a a significant career break in my 30s and I decided to leave Australia and, and go and live uh, in South America for a, a number of years and oh, I wow. just did a lot of exploring I gave myself a lot of time to think about what did I really want to do and what was I going to be happy kind of doing you know for the next phase of my career or or even sort of for my life and I really felt like I wanted to help women with their clothing mm. and you know I think doing a lot of reflection on my own career, um, I came to realise that actually style was something that really had helped propel me forward. And it had enabled me to take risks in my career and it enabled me to put myself forward for opportunities. And it was something that I loved. It was something that I enjoyed. And I really, really felt, I guess, like a strong calling to be able to then you know, help women in that space and help them feel really confident um, in the clothes that they were wearing every day. So I did my um, trained to, to to be an image consultant and then, you know, decided to to come back to Australia and and, um, and set up my business here. Fantastic. What what a, what a journey. And it's it definitely has looked like your um, you've combined something you're uh, you're good at and you're passionate about into 
obviously a business, but it's it's impacting uh, women in in a really transformational way. And I'd love to hear some of your, I guess, your success stories. But let's sort of look at this whole idea. I mean, you you talked about personal branding, and you know, a, a lot of us are going, okay, what does personal branding mean, and how does you know? I mean, we talk about being authentic um, and being comfortable with who you are. Uh, but yet, again, but yet again, there's this sort of need to make, ensure that you're presenting yourself in a certain way as well. So how do we how do we balance that? Yeah, that's such a great question, Cheryl. And I think that it it has to be that balance. And I think what I always say to to clients that I work with is, you want to find the sweet spot, and that sweet spot is really between feeling authentic in what you're wearing and your personality, and that your personality is able to shine through. Um, while also being mindful of what's the message that you want to send, you know, how Mm. how do you want people to perceive you and what's the environment that you're actually working in? So, you know, different businesses and different workplaces have, um, you know, different expectations around them. And I think as a professional, we always want to be mindful of those expectations. And, you know, we want to be able to fit in um, while also being able to to stand out and, and be memorable. So it's really about understanding, you know, and finding that sweet spot where there's a really nice marriage between all three of those. Yeah. And so does that come down to understanding what your, 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 I guess, your personality and what your style is? How do we do that? that? Yes, that is at the heart of it. And, you know, I think when you're, particularly when, you, you know, you are a business owner as well, your your personality is such a key part of your business, you know, and and at the end of the day, I think we do buy from people and your your style and the clothing that you wear, you know, I think they they send a message straight away. They tell people about you. So you want that to be a really authentic representation of who you are. And so the understanding, you know, how, what are the clothes and how can I actually um, speak, you know, who I am through my clothing is an absolute, I think it's so foundational for us to be able to do that through through our clothes. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, clothing is, it's a form of self-expression. And I think, and and I see this in my work that we all, we look best and we feel best in clothing that aligns with who we are. You know, I think it's an absolute fact. Yeah. And do you, is there a different style for when you're presenting yourself in a professional sense and obviously in your, you know, the weekend, the weekender? For most people, there is. Absolutely. And again, this is about really understanding, uh, you know, the what's the professional space that you're in? What are the expectations there? How do you mm-hmm. want to be seen? You know, are you vying for a leadership position and, and really wanting to move up? Or are you you know, okay, you know, with the position that you're at. So it's about really getting clear on that. But I would say, look, for 90% of people, there is going to be a bit of a delineation between how they're dressing in their professional, you know, life and perhaps playing up a different part of their personality and how they're dressing in their social life where they might choose to express, you know, a different side of their personality or play up a different side uh, a little bit more. Yeah, and so are there are there tools that we can and I'm I'm a tool sort of person and questionnaires <laughs> and things like that. Is there something to help people determine what their their professional style is? Absolutely. So one tool that I um, that, that, that people watching can can go and use right now is actually a quiz that I have on mm. my website. Okay. Um, and so that quiz basically um, asks you, you know, a series of questions. It will take you about two minutes to do. Um, I can also drop the drop the link here if yeah, you that like. Would be awesome. Um, but it takes about two minutes to do um, and, you know, just need to answer some really quick questions. And what it helps is it helps you understand what's your dominant archetype. So mm. and this is a really great basis to then help you build your style and understand your personality and what are going to be the clothes and the types of cuts and styles and silhouettes that would relate to you. So um, you once you kind of understand that dominant archetype, and the messages that that sends, then you can start to think about building your style kind of around that. Or, you know, you can also think about, well, 
you know, depending on the message that I want to send on this particular day at work, maybe I've got a, a, an important meeting, maybe I've got a negotiation, maybe I'm doing a presentation, you might think about how you can incorporate other archetypes, other elements of other archetypes. Um, so if you do that quiz, um, once 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 you've got sort of your result, you will be able to then know how you can incorporate elements of different archetypes. At the end of the day, really what it's about is understanding how you can convey what you want to convey with your clothing. Yeah, absolutely. And so do you find, I mean, I think it's 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 really important that we we do that step. And then the next part might be, okay, I, I understand what my 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 archetype is. I sort of have some sort of guide as to what my style is. And then I look at my wardrobe and I'm like, I have no idea what's happening there. <laughs> <laughs> And so how did we go from, I know what we're trying to achieve. I've seen the photos. I think that looks amazing. My, there's a whole eclectic sort of different cuts and everything else in there. This is where you come and rescue the, 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 the fashion tragics like me. Um, so what, how do you, how do you go about doing that with your clients? Yeah, so so there's a few steps that would, would, would take place, Cheryl, before we would get to that wardrobe because it is really important to, to have clarity, I think, around our style. And I think mm. what happens nowadays with so many people and, and you can understand why is that we end up with these wardrobes with loads of loads of different clothes but still feeling like we've never got anything to wear or maybe you've got loads of clothes hanging in your wardrobe and perhaps you've worn them once or twice or not at all. Mm. And what happens is, you know, the retail industry and the fashion industry is really built at the moment on a very, very fast cycle. And so there's new clothing coming yep. into the stores all the time. And so if you are going shopping without a really, really clear idea of who you are, mm. Um, and how you'd like to be perceived and how you want to show up in the world, then it's very easy to get derailed when you walk into those stores by all, you know, the new, you know, the new outfits or the new items that are there. So getting clarity is, is such an important um, part of actually building our style. And I think that's often a step that we miss. And that's one of the key things that I cover with clients at the beginning, because, Without that clarity and understanding who you are and taking a bit of time to reflect on, you know, things like what what do I actually enjoy wearing? Like what do I like to wear? You know, that can mm. be that can be even the first thing that you can do when you do go and look in your wardrobe. It's just to think about, well, out of all of these clothes that I've got here, what do I like and what don't I like and what aren't I wearing? And even just start with those two things mm. and have a look at out of the clothes that you've said that you've liked what are the elements what are because often what we'll find is there's um similarities between those clothes so those clothes might be more classic minimalist clothes or perhaps you know you might really enjoy wearing clothes that are more relaxed they might be you know natural kind of fabrics like cottons and linens so once we start to get that clarity there, that's when you can start to think about and start to sort of progress to, um, you know, starting to cleanse your wardrobe. And I and being clear about what do you actually need to add into your wardrobe? Because mm -hmm. often what I think we do is we try to solve the problem by buying more clothes, but more clothes is so rarely the answer. And, and we need to take that step back first and actually get in touch with ourselves and think about how how do I want to how do I want to dress what are the clothes that make me feel good what mm. are the clothes that I feel align with my personality what are my goals you know at the end of the day I'm I really think that our style needs to support us and and our and our goals as well it's it's a wonderful tool for doing that yeah amazing and then then it comes down to I mean I've heard about color and cut and all that sort of thing like um how important is that because everyone says you know that black is you know black is back or white you know white goes with everything do we just rely on 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 that or how can we find the colors and 
practices? Yeah, I think, you know, again, like, you know, colour is quite driven by by the fashion industry as well. So there'll be, um, you know, whatever colours they sort of come up for the season and, and you know, they'll sort of throw flow down to all the retail stores. And, you know, you, you'll you look in the magazines and it will be like, um, you know, this colours this year and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, these are the colours that you, you need to have this season. And um, don't listen to any of that. Um, the colours that you should wear are really the colours that suit you best. And I think colour is actually a really underrated and underused tool mm -hmm. because it's, you know, one, we've got the the impact that it has just on how we look, and it's the first thing that we see on people. So it's before we notice, you know, the actual style of a dress, we actually see the colour of something. So one, it's got a huge impact um, on our overall visual look. It makes us look healthy. It makes us look younger. It makes us mm -hmm. look really vibrant when the colour's right for you. The second one is it impacts your mood. You know, colour has a huge um a huge role to play in how um in how we feel for the day so you know often what i find when i talk to clients is they are wearing lots of gray lots of black lots of navies and, and when i say to them how do those you know how do they make you feel and they'll often say bored or um you know they feel a bit drab or they feel dreary and yes. just changing the color up in the, up in their wardrobes or adding a scarf or something with color really really impacts their mood and suddenly you know they feel vibrant and they feel alive and I, I get that feedback all the time yeah um and then the third part of color is the way that people perceive you and actually using it you can use it really strategically um you know when you do want to be seen more as an authority and as a leader um and you perhaps you know want to feel really confident and be seen then you choose red or you know you that's kind of you know that really traditional power color um, perhaps when you want to bring in and invite, you know, a little bit more balance and calm for your day, um, you know, you might choose a particular shade of green that will support that. Um, you know, there's so many amazing, amazing benefits to colour. So mm -hmm. understanding what colours suit you um, is, I can't stress how important it is and, and how much of a difference um, it, it makes because um, a lot of a lot of stores that actually um, will, you know, they'll merchandise their stock by colour. So when mm. you know your colour, being able to walk into a store and go, no, no, yes, 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 you know, and just go straight for your colours is hugely, hugely, oh my, it, it just makes shopping, cuts down so much time. And then you're building a wardrobe, when you do build a wardrobe based on colours that really suit you, what you find is that things all start to mix and match really seamlessly mm. and really effortlessly, um, you know. And and once you learn it, once you know what colours suit you, how to mix and match those, um, I promise you, it's life changing. <laughs> and and I've seen, I've, I see it with all my clients. It's it's one of the things that they that they comment is um, just something that they hadn't perhaps considered as much before, and is an incredibly important part of how of how they get dressed now. Yeah, because that's the that's the point. Because I've read these things about um, how do you reduce decision fatigue, and you've got the likes of um, Steve Jobs, who's like, I'm just going to wear one shirt for the rest of my life, sort of thing, well, <laughs> one style of shirt. And so it's like, well, if I if I want to be stylish and all, am I going to be spending half an hour looking at my wardrobe going? what matches but from what you've said the fact is that you're clear as to the colors that suit you and the cuts that suit you then you can mix and match so it's not necessarily that you're going to have a huge you know two wardrobes worth of clothes it's to a certain extent are you also minimizing your wardrobe 100 well? percent, Cheryl and I think the thing is most people a lot of women that I see they have too many clothes in their wardrobe or they don't have the right sort of, or they don't have the right clothes. And so mm. often what happens is we we buy things um, without thinking about our wardrobes holistically and our style holistically. And that's really um, the approach that I take with women because a, a large wardrobe with a lot of clothes is quite overwhelming. And um, well, the other thing is it, it can be expensive. Um, a smaller wardrobe with really strategically chosen pieces um, in colours that work for you, mm. um, where everything kind of mixes and matches and you've got a good amount of what I would call, you know, kind of foundation pieces. So, you know, your, your kind of basics 
And on top of that, you've got sort of your accent pieces, you know, you might be your brightly colored blazers or your brightly colored tops, which mm. you can mix and pair back. That is what creates ease. <laughs> and and it, 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 it starts your day off in a very kind of, you know, without that stress of thinking, oh my God, opening the wardrobe and thinking, oh my God, what am mm. I going to wear? And, mm. you know, if we think about it, we start our days in our wardrobes. You know, it's it's one of the first places that we go. So being able to start it without a level of stress and actually, you know, with a level of enjoyment and mm-hmm. um, and a level of excitement even in what you're going to put on, absolutely, like it sets the tone for the day. Yeah, amazing. And does it have to be an expensive process? I think that's sort of the other thing. In te- in expensive process in 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 terms of getting you know if you have to get new clothes or um yeah I mean to look good start again to look like Lucy say for example is it going to be you know am I going to be looking at spending thousands like how much do I need to budget for that sort of thing I think this is a really really interesting question I think it's a question that many women have and I think they you know they think that they are going to have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on clothes and you know I have had shopping trips um, you know, with clients where we might have picked up, you know, seven or eight pieces for less than a thousand dollars. It's totally up to you in your budget. And clothes do not have to be expensive, and you do not have to wear expensive clothes to look stylish. What you do need, though, is that you do need clothes that fit you really well. And that's probably one of the most important things that I teach my clients. It's that the fit's really, really important because that is what tends to make something look expensive. So you might buy a $100 blazer and you might get it tailored so it fits you well. So it might put the cost up to, let's say, 150 but that blazer is going to look like it's cost 850 So it's really not about um, how much you have to spend and you do not have to spend a lot on clothes. Um, I can tell you my entire outfit that I'm wearing today is less than you know $250 and I've got jeans a blazer and a, and a top underneath yeah. um, some days you know I do have some more expensive investment pieces in my wardrobe um, but you know I absolutely don't spend you know thousands and thousands of dollars yes. um, on clothes you know and for a lot of people they simply don't have those budgets to spend on clothes but it's about being really, really smart with your money so that the pieces that you're buying, you're going to wear over and over again. They're not going to sit there, you know, in your wardrobe or you're not going to wear them once or twice. Mm. Absolutely, you know, invest in, you know, invest in um, the best quality that you can afford um, and, and you can do that at all different price points. Yeah, I love how you stress the difference between it doesn't need to be really expensive per se, but stylish and style is priceless style is priceless and i think the the thing about you know style really doesn't need good style doesn't need to cost a lot for me what good style is about is when a woman um has confidence in who she is and she's very comfortable expressing that through her clothing and she knows who she is and i think um you know we can all see those women in the media um, and, you know, female leaders in business who have that and they their clothing really resonates with who they are and, and it feels very authentic to them. That to me is great style and that does not have to cost a lot of money at all. Fantastic. Well, Lucy, I'd love for you to talk us through I guess, um, like some of your services and the courses that can, people can join as well to be able to, you know, I'm I'm definitely keen to get out of my <laughs> my black jumpers. I'm going, but this so but it's so safe, you know, everyone feels all right, it's safe. But without a doubt, when I'm in colours, I did a little photo shoot um uh, earlier in the week and I had the reds and yellows and the whites, you know, I did a bit of my makeup and I'm like, I feel so good, but yes. I don't spend enough time no, not enough time. I don't. I don't think about it enough to put a priority in it because I'm scrambling around in the wardrobe, going, "I'll just put on whatever." Uh. Um, and so I know. I know I've got questions around. You know, how do I dress for for winter without looking like um, like you know a snowman, whatever that might be? And so I'd love to find out if that you know what we've talked about is covered in your group coaching classes. Yeah, absolutely. And I think she would just like, you know, back to that point where you said, 
you know, when you did dress up and, you know, you've got some colour on and you've got your makeup done, just how good you feel. And and I think mm. that is one of the main reasons for us for, for dressing up, you know, and, and obviously there's the, we know that there's the impact on opinions of others, you know, of our appearance. But mm. to me, the biggest reason to actually dress up is the impact it has on us how good we feel about ourselves and it and, and sometimes it sounds like such a cliche but I think it's it it is it there's truth in it there's so much truth in it that when we put effort into our clothing when we feel good you know about what we see in the mirror you know we we go forth in the world with such an amazing energy um and that's really what um my mission is it's it's really to help women have that confidence to build really dynamic and really authentic outfits and yeah. so the group coaching program that I've just launched, which is um, based on my signature program, so it's what I would normally um, work through one-on-one -on -one with my clients, um, but I realise that's not always accessible to all. So um, this is basically a 12-week group coaching program that walks women through step by step the key um, steps that you really need to build your style. So you are going to learn well, first, you know, you're going to get really, really clear, as I said, on your goals and who you are and how you want to show up in the world. So actually having clarity to start with about who you are and you know, having clarity about where you're at right now and where you want to go to is really going to guide you through the program. And then over the course of sort of um, five more modules, we will cover everything from you will find out what are the colours that um, really, really make you look amazing and really come up with a bit of a palette um, that you can use going forward. Um, you'll find out all the different body shapes and silhouettes um, that suit you. So again, that's another really key parameter that we need to know when we're walking into a store. You know, what's the shapes that I'm mm. looking for? Where mm. do I, how do I know where to put the attention um, and details of clothing on my body? So actually really, really understanding your body and how that relates to clothing. Um, there'll be a module where you'll understand how you can then apply those to your wardrobe. And so that's, you know, means that you know how to, you know, clean out your wardrobe, what works, what doesn't work, and you can make some space for new items. Um, then there's a shopping module. So you actually understand how to be a strategic shopper. So mm. um, you will not be going shopping without a list. You will not be buying random things. Every, you know, cent that you are spending is on an item that you know serves you and that you know works back into your wardrobe. So we have a look at how you can really be that shopper going forward and you'll learn how, how to apply all the things that you've learned about yourself um, to purchasing items that are really going to fit, flatter and serve you well. And then finally, um, once you've kind of got all of that together, the final step is putting it all together into a bit of a formula. So you'll actually come out of it with a very clear way and kind of almost like a prescription of how to get dressed. Um, mm -hmm. So that is what takes away that overwhelm, that fatigue every morning. It's super, super easy, you know, very, very quickly how you look your best. Um, and so that is, as I said, 12 weeks. Um, it's six live coaching sessions with me every two weeks. Um, so I'll be walking you through all of those um, various Yep. And just making sure um, that you're on track, that you're understanding how to implement those um, for you to come up with that million dollar style formula. So I've just popped that up there. If you can see on the screen, just some of the modules that you mentioned, I thought I'd let everyone. This is from the, um, the website and the landing page um, for the million dollar style group. My son's wanting to get the iPad and he's answered his own question. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, thanks, mommy, for saying yes. So if, if, <laughs> if you want details about the Million Dollar Style Group Transformation course, uh, we've put a link, or well, we'll add a link, but um, it talks about the modules that Lucy has just mentioned. Um, is this sort of a, a live group coaching, uh, recorded coaching? How is that 
that yeah so these will actually be live group coaching Cheryl so um, once we do once we do a module you'll be um, there'll be a video tutorial you'll be implementing that module and then you'll come along to that live group coaching session so if there's any questions um, or you need some clarification we'll be going through that all all together yeah amazing so if you would like to there are a few options there as well um your investment they can be paid in full there's um, flexible plans as well but definitely reach out to to lucy have a chat i mean uh without a doubt i would love to look for under 200 dollars <laughs> more like what lucy is presenting there and like i said it made me realize um, when i did my photo shoot how what a difference that it made me feel um and i popped a photo up but just because i was updating my facebook profile because my hair's grown and people were saying you know it's such a power look and i was like wow okay that's just a small thing that i could do in my own personal style could um reflect so differently as well so i'm hoping to touch the power of it isn't it cheryl you know and i yeah. think you know the in we're so visual today and with all our social mm. media profiles mm. and all of this your I, I think our clothing is such an incredibly powerful tool that we yeah. all have you know we all have a at, at our disposal to to be able to use and and to harness yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you so much for your time um, and sharing sharing your gems. StyleRises.com, uh, if you'd like to reach out to Lucy, she does one-on-one, so VIP is a very personal um, service as well. Uh, definitely have a think about how you're presenting yourself. If you're working on your personal brand and how you're presenting, um, look at, you know, just a simple thing like your wardrobe and how, how you can present your style with, with confidence as well. So thank you. Have a wonderful rest of the day and the week, Lucy. Uh, thank you, everyone that's joined us today and virtual coffee. Uh, if you love to listen to any of our previous episodes, we are on YouTube. Uh, join up to our Facebook as well. This does go live on LinkedIn. Uh, keep safe, keep well, and we'll see you next time on virtual coffee. Take care. Bye-bye.